This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 2 of Baldur's Gate 3 on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where we were people at the end of the last part, on the beach here. The Ravaged Beach, I think it's called. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Ah. I wonder if these sort of things activate because we've got Discovery and such like. These little comments. It's like a massive, like, octopus arm or something there, look. Octopus, octopus have octopi have arms or legs, people. <laughs> you know what I mean. Arms, I'm sure it's arms. Beautiful surroundings. Can we zoom in and out? Oh, we can. Yeah, can zoom in as well. Quite a lot of these games don't let you do that. I know the Divinity ones certainly do. You can have a good look around yourself. Very nice. Onward. Uh, is any of this stuff touchable? Don't think so. So we have to find a cure. Oh, hello. Bite. Or maybe not. Mm. No. Aha. Is that the woman from the ship? Yep. Yes, what was that she was stealing? Wake her, reach for the artifact. Uh, wake her. Let's build a bit of trust first, shall we? You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Hey, I was hoping you might know that. Uh, doesn't matter, we made it. Uh, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. A now what? Do you have any ideas where we are? Uh, what happened to our f g uh, gith friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. We should look for her. She might be injured or worse. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter... And most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. That is true. Uh, we? You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Seems reasonable. Alright, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Yeah. And you would get brownie points for that. I'm almost positive. Having spoken to my boy Aaron Brew, who's played the beginnings of this before me. A, he also saved her from the pod. Uh, but was wondering if that is, in fact, is it at all possible to run past her? But I I would be very surprised if it's not possible to leave her behind. Considering the type of game that it is. But let me know in the comments below if you know that it's possible to leave her behind. Or does the game force you to take her? Uh, a flute. Sure, why not? Let's have a good look around, peeps. Hello, peeps. Well, we'll take all the gold we can get our hands on for the time being. Well, can we spin around? Yeah, we can. Sweet. Yeah, I'm going to sell half of this stuff. I think our inventory is getting a bit full. Yeah, I love that. Of all the the, La the Larian games, the Divinity ones as well, the the surroundings have an impact on your movement and all that sort of stuff. So we go through. Well, I'm assuming that's just water. It might be hot water. We do seem to go hot on the feet when we go into that water. It's like a spring or something. So you've got all the elemental stuff happening in the world around you, which you can also use in battles, which is quite cool. Mm. 
Mangled Fisher. Perfumed letter. Can we read straight from there? Yes, we can. Oh. Um, sigh. I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And keep on saying it till we're old and grey. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Well, it's possible we'll give that letter to somebody. Or it's possible it's a complete waste of inventory space, one or the other. Yeah, not overly sure I need to pick up all these fishes, people. Money. A. Can do take all right enough. Can I go into that water there? Go right to the edge? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Right, that leaves one path. Eh. Uh. I don't think we need to be picking up so many waters, do we, really? Thieves' tools will take, though. Waypoint discovered. Nice! Where, though? Ah, is that the waypoint on the wall? <laughs> Ancient sigil. It must be that's the only thing that's sprung up on the map. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's quite cool. Waypoints are usually just always on the floor, aren't they? You stand on them. Quite cool having them on the side of a wall. There you go. So we can jump between waypoints that we discover, which is lovely. So we can go in there. Let's have a little wander about first. Oh, hello. More of those wretched things. Oh right, okay, yeah, the big the big octopus arm thing's part of the ship, isn't it? That's what it was. It had big tentacly things on it. Oh, that's empty. Am I running back the hence to, from where I came, people? <laughs> hence from where I came. Moving the camera around kind of confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's where we went and picked up the rock. Uh, looked in the rock sack and everything. Yeah. Right. Inward to the door then. There is a... No, not that one. There was a loot that, that was coming up not empty. Oh, never mind. Onward. Let's have a little save before we go in. Oh, there's a quick save, actually, somebody was saying. Ah, there we go, triangle. So all you have to do is hit the start button and hit triangle and it'll do a quick save. 
Nice. Open easily. Oh. Maybe there's another entrance. Or maybe I can try my lock picking powers. Now, will it do it automatically if I'm allowed to, or do I have to go into here? <sighs> I'm not seeing my lock picking tools that I have in my inventory. I was looking in this earlier, off camera, just to see what all the little moves were. I noticed there's a jump one over there, there's a push one. Things you can do in the world that aren't necessarily to do with fighting. Uh, however, I'm not seeing pick a lock, and I'm sure one of the things that we're allowed to do is pick locks. Or one of the things we're good at is picking locks. Uh, so, let's just have a look at... Oh, also, big pad, pad button in the middle is our map. Let's see what's what. Zoom in. Oh, you get quite a good zoom on it as well, which is good. Uh, there must be a quick way to inventory, surely. Context menu is square. Ah, here we go. Don't give me trouble now. Here we go. So context menu, I hit square there and it gave me the lock pick option. Um now, can you... Ah, right, so using these helps me out, though, I think, before I roll the dice, does it? Or is that just telling me what bonuses I've got? Oh, add a bonus. Here we go. Oh, doesn't... Ah, right, that's allowed that. So, okay, I'm allowed to use one bonus. I might as well use the plus three, then. Ooh, 14. It's a good roll, that, surely. Come on. Oh, what? And a waste of thieves tools for it as well. God damn it. Oh, well, okay. Well, we'll not waste anything else. Let's see if we can find another way around. It could be that it just doesn't want you to do that because it wants you to go through the other sections at this point. Alright, he'll be fighting. They're bloody miles away though, look. <laughs> How the hell has he seen me that far away? Oh, there's another one over there. Well, we can't hit anything as yet, so let's just get ourselves into the battle, shall we? That's weird. Why am I only getting... Uh, normally I've got nine meters I can move. Now it seems I've got like seven or eight. Seven and a half or something. Is it because it's uphill or something? Another step forward. Let's go for... Critical miss. <laughs> What's a critical miss when it's at home? Hey, let's go for. Ah, wait a minute. Applies resistance. Make a target more resistant to spell effects and conditions it receives. Alright, so I can use some of this on my allies. Concussive dash. We'll give that a go. Oh. Not enough movement. God's sake. Can't actually hit it now. I've got an action, but I can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't get close enough to fire at it, that's what it is. On my way. 
<laughs> Just hit the wrong button. Never mind. That's the sort of thing that will be fatal later on in the game. Hit triangle thinking I was bringing up a menu for some bizarre reason. So, let's do a bit of melee action then. I thought I had a... Oh, it's there. Firebolt. I thought I had some sort of flurry that I used last time. It might have been a different character, right enough. Oh, yeah, I noticed this one as well. Dip. You can actually dip your weapon in any, any like, oils on the floor and stuff like that and use them. It's quite cool. Anyway, let's just get on with this, Steve. Come on. <laughs> Nice, dodged it. Healing wound. Oh, healing word. Heal a creature you can see. Nice. We've got someone we heal then. That hurt. I think they might have put an ailment on me, like bleeding or something, maybe. <laughs> nice. Ooh, level up and ride your pony. First level up, people. I don't know how to use the bonus action yet, either. How do I use bonus action? Is that... Is it orange a clue? Does that mean I can... Ah, right, okay. So I can use one of these orange moves. Jump. Oh, nice. Right, okay. Dip. Shove. Um. What's this one? Flourish. Off balance. Not overly sure what that does. Flourish. Applies off balance two turns. Possibly throw your enemy off balance. Ah, right, okay. Nice. Give that a go then. Uh, she seems to be in a bad way. Two out of ten health. Disguise self. Magically change all aspects of your appearance. Charm humanoids. Take you. Nice. Healed myself. And that's an orange move, which means I can still use my action, which is nice. I can just do main hand attack with X, actually. I don't have to go into the menu for that, do I? Nice. Speed things up a bit. Ooh, ouch. Well, I think my next hit will take it out, actually, so I'm just going to go for it. Nice. We've got a bonus action, which we can use. Oh, can you bonus action? I can heal myself with a, bo a bonus action. So let's give that a whirl. Nice. Bit of a waste, but just we'll see it in action. Nice. That's good. Bonus actions. I like it. Uh, let's finish this. Let's, yeah, exactly that. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Well, that's kind of you to say. I do feel like I've got a bit of an ailment on her, though. She seems to be 7 out of 10, but a, with a red... Or does that red bar mean that it's like a third of the 10 that's injured? Maybe that's all it means.
Well, how do we level up? Let's have a look. R1. Let's get going. Oh. Health increase to 17. Lovely. Cunning action hide. Alright, I acquired all of this. Cunning action dash and cunning action disengage. Um... And then R2. Oh. Do I not get to put anything on myself? Just does it all for me, does it? There's a star on dexterity. Inspect. Yeah, I'm not overly sure what I'm doing there. I mean, it's uh, uh, as far as I can see, there's only one option. Does it add class right enough? Multi-classing. This advanced feature allows you to build powerful combinations of classes at the expense of higher level class features. You can only level, you can only level up one class at a time. Uh, I think we won't do multi classes at the minute. Let's cancel that. So there is something to look into there later on. I'm, I'm not going to go down that route just yet. Um, but there doesn't seem to be anything for us to do that I can see on screen other than that. No points to spend or anything. Oh, hello. Passive feature, you can see in the dark up to 12 meters. Elven weapon training. Not really sure why this has come up, but it's just like a... Yeah, doesn't seem to be anything I can do. Just... Uh... Uh, not really sure what happened there. Right, let's try the other character. How how do I bounce between these characters? Do I just go up and down? Oh, oh, no, it was me that brought that up. Actually, hitting the down button on the D-pad. Up, oh, but ah, oh, that button does that. Right, okay. There's no time to waste. Yeah, so it does seem to be an automatic thing. The whole leveling up procedure. So I'm assuming this is kind of a roll of the dice thing as well, maybe. Um, health increase, 10 to 17. Level 1 spell slot unlocked, nice. Channel divinity charges, 1. And turn undead and invoke duplicity. For actions have been added. Ah, can change these as well. Well, I, I tapped triangle actually instead of holding it down, and it brought up this other option. Ah, right. Continue. I see. Okay, it's given me a, gave me an extra option for her than it did my character. So when I hit continue, it gives me this prepare spell. So it's because it's unlocked that spell slot, I assume. Uh, let's see what we've got. We could do with an area of effect one, really. Guiding Bolt. Healing Word we've already got on her. Shield of Faith. Cure Wounds. Must be different to healing, then. Heal a creature you can touch. Heal a... Creature, you can, ah right, okay. So you got to be close to do that one, and you've got you can do that from anywhere as long as you can see them. Shield of faith, protect a creature from attacks. Increase its armor by two. 
Yeah, I could use her as a protector, couldn't I? Put a load of protection stuff on her. You or an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. Up to three creatures receive an ID4 penalty to attack rolls, saving throws. Command a creature to flee. Bless up to three creatures. They gain ID4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Create or destroy water. 3 to 30 damage, inflict wounds, putrefy a creature with the necrotic energy filling your hands. Right, okay. Uh, we could do that one. Gives us another... Well, that one or the shield one, I think, if we're going to make her a protector. Ah, let's do that. Uh, guiding Bolt. The next attack roll against this target has advantage. Whoa. Oh, okay, sorry. That's my chosen ones up at the top. So what? <laughs> I'm just... It's all it's doing is letting me pick out the ones that I want to have. Oh, I don't know what's happening, people. I'm going to accept that. I think it's just yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I'm actually picking those spells out. I don't remember having that many of them. Okay, so we've definitely got more here than we had before. There's the heal one we used. Ah, there's the. There's the new, uh, the new. Well, there's. I certainly don't remember it being there before that inflict wounds, but healing word. So we've got we've got two healing options now. Okay, right. Okay, I'm getting there, people. I'm getting there. Let's move. Let's move. Let's do this. Almost positive it says loot without an empty on it, and then suddenly it says empty. Ooh, 60 gold. Ooh, a new sword. A silver locket. For Papa. I feel like my inventory should be getting proper full, but I might be misunderstanding how it works on screen. Ah, I've noticed down at the bottom there as well, we've got radial customization. So you can customize all that stuff as well, which is quite cool. Right, why am I forgetting where my main menu is, people? Uh, it's, it's the right trigger. But for some reason, it's the one and only thing it doesn't seem to tell you on screen. <laughs> R2. D2. So we did get an extra. We got a new sword. So that's 4 to 9 damage. The rapier is 4. Yeah, it's the same. Although it's got different... It's got different proficiencies. Human Mage Scimitar falls far short of replicating the quality of the Drow style. Might stick with what I've got then, if that's the case. That one's slashing, and the one I've got is piercing. Light Finesse, both Light Finesse. 
Yeah, just stick with what we've got, I think. Although I do have a number of swords, actually, now I'm looking at it. But they all seem to be 4 to 9. Oh, that's 4 to 11. Yeah, so I do... Mm, how, uh, I'm trying to remember what my proficiencies are. They are finesse, though. Light. Well, that's not light, that one, but it is finesse. Four to eleven. That's the same. Well, we could try. We could try the other sword. It seems to have three proficiencies on it instead of two. And it's the two same ones that I've got on. I'm not sure what the light losing the light would do. Let's give it a whirl, eh? Nothing else has changed really. Well, we could have a save, though. No, now. Quick save, Steve. Dead Mind Flayer. Potion of Speed. Caustic Bulb. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to test that. I had a feeling I was going to burn, but yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Ele elements in inside the world will will hurt you, or can hurt you. Ah, I have a feeling that guy might join us. You know, he seems to be someone I recognise from the poster. I've got one of those. Brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. Easily stand back. Uh, kill it yourself. You look capable enough. <laughs> Easily stand back. There. Can you see it? <laughs> Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. <gasps> now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Uh, headbutt the elf. Melee proficiency. Uh, why can't I add it? For some reason, oh, it's a total bonus of one, so it's, it's doing a whole thing. I, I think this is going to fail. Oh, nice. <coughs> you wretched little... <sighs> Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. Uh, put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... 
I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> no apologies. Apology accepted. I might have done the same were the roles reversed. Uh, glad to see we're all caught up now. You'd better have more to offer than apologies. Yeah. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Uh, Buldarian, introduce yourself. You're a Buldarian too. Tell him your name and your story. Uh, I'm. I, am I a Buldarian? Oh, yeah, I am, I suppose. I'm an elfy person, so is he. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. I know we don't want them in our heads. Uh, you know as much as I do. Yes, unfortunately. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. A uh, control it. We need to get rid of it. Uh, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. I've wasted enough time here. A uh, control it. We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Uh, you should travel with me. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Marvellous. Another member of the squad. And he gets an immediate level up by the looks of it. High dash and disengage. Yeah, he looks a bit of a rogue, doesn't he? Similar to us. <sighs> Level two, three of us. That'll do nicely. Uh, we could do, however, with... Uh, healing the main character shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times I'm pretty sure we haven't walked past one of those healing things Oh, hello. That might be one there, actually. Possibly. Or maybe not. No, it's not. It's a pod. Spinning the camera around is making me lose my bearings, people. <laughs> Forgetting where I've been and not been. I'll tell you what. If we change to... Can't stay idle. Take you. That'll do. I think out of battle we might be able to do this as much as we like. Maybe. Take you. What to do? Marvellous.
I'm assuming the map does show us, yeah, kind of where we've been, doesn't it? There's a big tentacly bits I was talking about at the beginning. There's the ruins we were at. Even if injured, just be careful. You approached the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Give in to the emotion. This isn't right. Step away. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Um Yes, you feel hate and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Intelligence, concentrate on its thoughts. Oh, blimey. I think this was a bad idea. <laughs> 14. Nice. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. Submit to the feeling. Lean in as for a kiss. Resist the intrusion with everything you have. See, I'm not sure... Uh... Ah, here we go. I was going to say, I don't know what they are, but it says on the left, if we turn tooltips on, uh, we get plus one from wisdom. So it's not something we've got a lot of. We'll try it, though. Mm. Nice. Nice. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever, leave it to die slowly. Uh, close them forever, I say. Monster. Death is too good for it. Spiked bulb. The barbs inside this bulb explode on impact, making all near enemies bleed. Nice. The top of this skull is cracked with a lattice of shallow fractures. No, I'm not sure there's any point in that skull at all. I'm just going to leave that. Brilliant. I love the height element to this thing where you can climb and... Well, I think we can use water to run through that without getting hurt. Um... Oh, that's a grease bottle. I don't want to use that. I 
don't know though if water is just a consumable at this point. We did pick up a few bits of water, did we not? Yeah, we did, yeah. Throw, here we go. Marvellous. There you go. A little bit of action to do with how to deal with the elements on the in the world. Does it fire come back or does it stay gone? It looks like it stays gone. Oh, hello. That looks like a broken. Must have been here a while. Thought it was a trap there for a minute. It's a trap! Oh, hello. What's that? What's going on with that room? Looks uns Ancient sigil circle. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. <laughs> Touch the sigil. I should have saved it, really, shouldn't I? You approach the sigil on the stone. Who are you? Slap the hand, grab the hand and pull. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not big on strength though, am I? Got minus one. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately when you do this, uh, it'd be nice to be able to change the character in the... Yeah, it's a low roll. And a minor... Oh. No. Harder! Come on, put your back into it! This is more trouble than it's worth. Leave him to his fate. Uh, pull again as hard as you can. Get another shot at it. Well, it was better than the last one. Nice. That's it. Go on. Keep pulling. Ooh, a mage. Hopefully. Or a sorcerer or something. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No need to apologise. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. A. I was, yes. I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis 
And let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I was going to ask you the same question. Can't say that I am. Oh, rogue. I am no stranger to high stakes extractions, but these tadpoles are beyond even my light fingers. I can't cure us. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. <laughs> But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favour. Marvellous. And he gets a level up straight away as well. The Wizard of Waterdeep, I think that was. Oh, uh, there we go. I was wondering where all this stuff was. Right, okay. Journal. Oop. Hey, well, we might as well do is level up while we're here. I'm a shit, well, I don't know, but... I'm wondering how many companions we can actually have. There's plenty of room on the left-hand side for a couple more, but I'm wondering if four's the limit or... Well, it should tell us next time that it's a swap rather than an addition, but... I guess we'll find out as we go, people. Your desire. Go on, make him a wizard. Or a sorcerer, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, he's a wizard. Nice. You acquire the following. Specialization available. Health increased 8 to 14. Level... Oh, interesting. His health is actually lower than the others. I think they're 17, aren't they, the others? A... Evocation. Savant. Sculpt, uh, sculpt spells. And we've got a space for two... Oh, new spell, new spell. Nice. Evocation spells focus elemental energy into powerful attacks and enchantments. Those who specialize in this school are known as evokers. Learning evocation, evoc evocations, evocation spells from scrolls only costs you 25g per spell level, not 50. You acquire the following. Sculpt spells, evocation, savant, new spell, new spell. Ah, right, okay. So I can pick one of these subclasses then. Hmm, not sure. Necromancer, you walk through the valley of the shadow of death. There's a <laughs> song there somewhere. And make lots of friends there. Learning necromancy spells from scrolls only cost you 25g. Yeah. Conjuration. Enchantment. Enchantment. Your magic influences beguiles and bends. The, yeah, you can put... Uh, presumably enchants other people's weapons and stuff. Or enchanting enemies in a different... Yeah, to weaknesses and stuff, maybe. Divination. Yeah, hypnotic gaze on that enchantment one. Illusion. 
Improved minor illusion. Transmutation. Abjuration. Arcane wizard. And we're back to ab evocation. Uh, I'm not overly sure which one to take here. Sculpt spells. Let's go with this one. Seems interesting. I was tempted with necromancy though because you tend to be able to raise people from the dead. And then you've got extra people on your party as well. I might go necromancy. Ah, here we go. Once per turn, if you kill a creature with a spell, you gain hit points equal to twice the spell slot level used. Thrice if it's a necromancy spell. Undead and construct are unaffected. Create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against. Yeah. Gonna go with. I'm gonna go with necromancy. A. Choose the spells you know from the list below. Burning hands. There must be a necromancy one in here somewhere. Let's. Uh, is it the green one? Yeah, that's ray of sickness. Magic missiles. So we'll go with that one. Protection spell. Protect ally against attacks and powers of aberrations, celestials, and blah. Shoot three magical darts, each dealing two to five force damage. False life. Gain seven temporary hit points. Summon a familiar. Here we go. Although that's not a necromancy spell. I think that doesn't seem to have a class. Oh, it's a conjuration spell. A face spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. So I wonder if it was conjuration I wanted then and not... Can I go back? Yeah, I can. Yeah, there's conjuration there. Aberration. <laughs> Whichever one I pick seems to only have one option. Right, so let's do conjuration. And... I want to pick ones that are my speciality, but it only seems to give me one of the one I'm picking. Oh, cold damage. Oh, that is conjuration. Level one conjuration spell. So it's nothing to do with the colours then. That's uh, 3 to 22 cold damage. Might take a bit of that action. It's fire then conjuration as well. No, it's evocation. Let's do that then. What's that one there? Transmutation. Yeah, it, it, I think it would be easier if they were just the colours of the ones that you were interested in. I think it's more elemental than it is that though. Right, let's take that one. That's two conjurations we've gone with. Spell book. You can only cast from a limited selection of spells at a time. Select which spells you have prepared from the total list of spells you know. Well, interestingly, 
That's conjuration. Thunder wave. Sleep. Witch bolt. Well, it would certainly be better picking the... Get rid of grease. We'll take that one. And we want a conjuring animal. A familiar. Thunder, sleep. Witch bolt. That's lightning. And that's... Push. Pushes away all creatures and objects. But that's quite cool. Alright, now that took a... Sorry about the delay in that, people, but I wanted to get it just right. Yep, there we go. Uh, mind you. Why am I not seeing my... Conjuration? Oh, there he's there. Find familiar. Summon a familiar, a face spirit that... Alright, let's try it then. Ah, alright, okay. You drill down into it. Ah, my spidery friend. <laughs> nice. Got ourselves a little spidery friend now. Still breathing. Despite everything. Good grief, we've gone over the Almart people. Didn't even realise I'm having that much fun. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. She said I'm pretty sure she said goblins over there, but I don't know where she was looking at. Be useful if it put something on the map when you when someone says something about it, you know. Is this not where we were? Oh hello, what's this? No, it's just sparks, I think. Oh god damn it. That running through the fire. <laughs> All oh, right, and then if I touch somebody else while I'm on fire, they also get hurt. Makes some sort of sense, I suppose. Well, that's definitely an unchecked area. We've not been up there because it's still dark. Okay. Is there a marker down there? I just spotted it on. I know it's the little uh, doorway we couldn't get through. Well, I say little doorway, the big doorway. Couldn't pick the lock on it. You think it's dangerous? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, twice as ugly. Aha. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Rather demanding for a woman in your position, why should I? Don't worry, I'll get them out of here. One way or the other, deception. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Persuasion. I think we've got persuasion, have we not? 
Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. What? All right. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what the hell I do with this. Alright, there we go. Oh, for God's sake. Got a nine, though. She's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danaise? Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. You've but one chance. Join me or die. Attack the tieflings. Attack Laziel. Yeah, well, she seemed to be on our side. Hmm. Kind of picked a <laughs> death or death situation here, haven't I? No! You lying rat! Ow. That's other up there. That's what it is. Well, I don't have a very good uh, chance of hitting them from down here. Sixty-five, sixty-five. I've stood right next to them, for God's sake. Huh. Goes down with that one. Bonus action, methinks. Could go for a hide, couldn't I? Disengage. Retreat safely, moving won't provoke opportunity to attack. Oh, uh, uh, moving won't provoke opportunity attacks. Mind you, I've probably put myself in a more vulnerable position because I'm lower down. I've missed this. Just hit the wrong button again, people. Well, I might actually do... Uh, not available. Does that mean I can't see her? Yeah, I can't do a quick target on... Oh, my spider's still with us. Need to change position here. It's a long way round to get behind them. And I don't think we can actually. I think... Uh, no, you can. But it's a long way round. Alright, let's get to here. Got to press on. Hmm. 
Not much chance of hitting them from here, is there? God sakes. I'm going to get her up and close. <laughs> what the hell did I just do, people? Silly boy. Just got a bow for her, actually. can't get to them yet. I don't think this one can go up. Uh, oh, it can. Just don't have enough uh, enough moves to get up there. The witching hour. Good move. Right, let's do a bit of Not enough movement. <laughs> Had a feeling that was going to happen. It's a miss. Right, my turn. Do you know what it is? It's every time I look at bonus action, I see a triangle. And that's what's making me hit triangle to finish the... <laughs> and I finish my move off by mistake. Well, that bloody spider has been useless in this fight. <laughs> Can't even get up there. Gone with the weave. Step by step. <laughs> Witch bolt. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is crash? A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. All right, 
we journey together. Let's find this crash. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Okay, let's work together. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Yeah, so we need to let somebody go. And I think it's going to be the, the rogue guy. Because we've got two rogues on our team. Wait at my camp. We can speak there. Uh, I think that's the only place that I can... Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Hmm. It was a bit frustrating that I couldn't just let somebody go there unless I've missed a trick. I thought it was going to let me just choose my party where I was stood. Not sure. That armor seems to be... Now, oh, that might be better. Eleven. No, it's all eleven. Just looks slightly different. Oh, that's equipped. Don't think we've picked up anything yet that we can put on that's better than... That's interesting. So you've got armor and you've got an undergarment. You've got clothes and armor on top. Could do with checking out the other characters though. Their armor. Yeah, he's got decent armor. It's up there. Hey, so where's the camp then? Can I go to the camp any time, or... What? Well, that's our quest marker up there. Find the Githyanki Kresh. I think you need to really take her, because that's where the cure is. Can travel to Waypoint there, but we could do with discovering one first, because we're bloody miles away from there, aren't we? Well, I suppose it's not that much of a walk. Ah, here we go. Fast travel camp. There you go. So you go into the map, you hit the triangle button, and you can go to any of these locations here. Yeah, I think that's where we pulled the guy out, isn't it? And that's where that portal was. Oh, nice. Proper little encampment, isn't it? Ah, storage. Mask of shapeshifters. Peculiar clothing chest. Bewildering adventurer's pack. A not overly sure. Oh, it adds 11 to your pack, I think. Peculiar clothing chest. Mask of the shapeshifter. Well, I'm not sure what we need. I wonder if there's a shop in here. A... 
Camp supply sack stores your camp supplies. Okay, I'm not overly sure what that's doing. <laughs> so it seems to be a backpack that's just taking up room in my backpack. What's that all about? Alright, that's for storing salts and an area for stiff tent legs. Fixing pegs and folded, whatever. The lip of the pack is stitched with the likeness of helmeted warrior. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that means. It seems to say plus 11. Ah, right. You open it and it's got foods and stuff in it. Got you. Okay. So we don't need to carry both of those around, do we? So things like fish and apples and all that, that's what it is. So, that, yeah, the backpack's actually storing very specific things. Got you. Okay. That's my keychain. Right, so those are things that have got things within them. That's what the plus means. That's potions, presumably, or, yeah, alchemy pouch. Peculiar clothing chest. Cape of the Red Prince. Assuming that's for your crafting materials for clothing, then. Okay, though. Join the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. A. Tell me about yourself. What to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. I think you should stay here for the camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please stay here. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here. Well, you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. Okie doke. Which means... Chatter already, Tusky. You look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. Do you know much about mind flayers? I'd like you to join me. It is done. There we go. And then she's got a level up as well. So we've now got... We'll see what she's got. But that's a proper mixed bag of what we've got in there now. She might be roguey to be fair. Hmm. If anything, she might be similar to the the other woman. Strength. She's got good health. 20. She doesn't really get much in the way of moves, though. Marvellous. Well, I think, people, we're going to have to wrap it up here because we're nearly at another hour and a half episode. Good grief. Ah, you can put uh, items in here as well for specific reason. Could do a sort my inventory out and just dump in a few things, I think. With Yankee joining our company. What a collaboration I'd have anticipated. But a welcome one nonetheless. Tell me about yourself. I need to remain in the camp for a while rather than on the road with me. Uh, oh, I need you to remain in the camp. No, that's fine. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, city of splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, a weakness for a good glass of wine and if the mood takes me 
I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Very good. Don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an arch mage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Wisdom, try peering into his mind. If he won't open up, you'll sneak in. Uh, now change the subject. I want to piss him off. Well, that just leaves our night lady. Where's she? Or well, the spider, but I can't speak to the spider. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Kneeling down. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Hmm. Nothing shifty about that. What do you think this, of all that's happened? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? We go our separate ways, of course. What else? The ties that bind would be well and truly severed. Where would you go? If you must know, Baldur's Gate. And before you ask, no. I'm not telling you what I'm doing there, or who I'm meeting, or anything else. You're keeping something back. You pry too much. Any further, and you'll regret it. Understand? How am I holding up in your estimations? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly. But all things considered, you'll do. Well, that's nice, isn't it? And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favour at some point. Okay, right, I've had a little chat with uh, everybody at that point. So I think that's a good place to wrap it up for this part. People have gone well over the hour mark. I hadn't anticipated doing that this episode. <laughs> Never mind. Getting hooked in. It's always a good thing, people. Uh, we'll get back on the map to where we were. Oh, it doesn't show us here, does it? Uh, I've not put markers down either, actually, yet. You can put markers on the map. And name them as well, which is very cool. Marvellous. Anyway, we'll get back to where we were at the beginning of the next part. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Baldur's Gate 3 on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.